stand before you in this rather extreme lighting situation to prove a point, which is that we don't always have the control of lighting and contrast that we would wish in, in whatever our subject is. Sometimes we might be in an interior room, but have a bright window out the back of the frame. Or we might be shooting outside at night and the background just drops off into nothing. And we want to be able to have some ability to do some color correction, to be able to pull information, to be able to get detail out of what our cameras are delivering us. Well, cameras, uh, digital cameras are generally set up to shoot in what's called Rec. 709, which is a standard contrast and color space. But there's also something called log. And in digital cinema, your cameras now can ab have the ability to record log, which is a much wider range, basically letting you see what the sensor is capable of on your camera. So Rec. 709, if you imagine a regular contrast curve, if you will, uh, this being the range of exposure that the camera can see from dark to bright, and then here the just highlights just blow out to white, and down here they just all go uh, disappear into darkness. And so that range right there is the actual how many stops of exposure. Well, what's log then? Just kind of flattens it out. Rec. 709, that's what monitors are expecting to see. That's what your standard video is so that things like look normal. But it's limiting. It only has this certain kind of range. If you extend it this way, then, well, it's going to look terrible on a monitor at first because it's going to be really flat. You're going to see, you know, it's going to have this kind of range. You're going to see much more into the shadows and much more into the highlights. Basically, whatever your camera sensor is capable of, that's what will be then recorded. But it looks kind of blah knowing that you're going to take that information and do a color correction on it. So you're going to, you know, maybe tweak part of it this way, but maybe not the whole thing. Maybe you just take a pull a bit of information, take the shadow and move it around. That's color correction. That's contrast control. You let you make the decision. Why would I do it? What does it really get me? Well, here's an Arri Alexa. Now this camera has an amazing contrast range ability, dynamic range. It can, at 800 ISO, it can record seven stops over and seven stops under, 14 stops of dynamic range within one image, which is pretty amazing. It's a really huge range. Rec. 709 can't even capture all that. Well, here's my example. I've set up this lovely situation here, which is rather just extreme, where I have a chart and a little data light just blasting right at it. And if you look at the white highlights that are right above the, uh, the data light itself, you look at those chips, well, you can't actually see the chips. They've just all blown out white. Now, we're looking at a Rec. 709 image here. If you look over to the right between those two uh, mannequins and you see the shadow area, the part where her necklace goes up on the rear person, it's, uh, it, that, all that detail has just disappeared into nothing. I mean, that's just, you can't see anything there. And if I tried to do a color correct on this image, you're just not going to have the information to play with. You just If I try to pull up that necklace, it would just be all noise. If I tried to bring down the window to get some detail there, you know, the, where the little the white bars are, uh, there wouldn't be any information. It's all just clipped white. But if I take that into log, now let's look at it. The bars have, I can actually see the information in them. I can actually make out detail between each individual little chunk there, little, little stripe. If I look at the shadow between the two mannequins, I actually can see the necklace go all the way up and around her neck, and I can get some detail on her blouse and things back there. There's information available to be played with. So knowing if you're going to go into a color correct, what I recommend people do on a camera, such a digital cinema camera, such as the Arri Alexa, is to record in log, but monitor in Rec. 709. So try to get your image as close as you can in Rec. 709, but you know that what you're actually recording is this much greater range that then you can go into a color correct. If Rec. 709 gave it all to you, you just slap on Rec. 709 and boom, you've got it. But you can just manipulate that any which way you want in order to get the image that you need. If you have some highlights that blow out or you need to get some shadow information up, you have the room to do it. Whereas if you just pasted it on beforehand when, when you were recording, you've got nowhere to go. And that's the ability of a digital cinema camera recording in log.